I'm Chef Rich Cirillo. Ever since I could remember, I've had a passion for food and music, and that passion is still alive today. Now that I have the opportunity to share my passion with you, I thought it'd be best to combine great food and great talent. That way the food can romance the palate while the music soothes the soul. Welcome to my kitchen, where I feed the starving artists while cooking up stars. Welcome to The Starving Artist. I'm your host, Rich Cirillo, and today we have Asteria Lux from Nashville, Tennessee. We have CJ, Courtney, and Genesis, a jazz vocal band that did some great stuff that I saw online and decided to have them on the show. Today we're going to cook some dishes from southern Italy. We have some eggplant, some interesting eggplant from the southern region with a lot of capers, olives, and garlic. And also some steak of pizzaiola, which we're going to start the sauce right now because it's one sauce, the two dishes, guys, so it's real simple. Okay, so we're going to start off with a nice warm skillet and some extra virgin olive oil. And while I'm chopping this garlic, which most people know how to do, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? We'll start with CJ, you want to start? Yeah, um, I met Courtney when she was just 12 years old. And she'd come to Nashville, it was her first trip, and she was kind of trying to fast track and uh, they consulted with an artist development agency to hook her up with some writers and, and producers and stuff. And just blew me away, the things she knew coming from a little town in Montana. I'm like, where did you learn all this? And in addition to having some great music teachers there, she said, well, I bought your book. So I fell in love on the spot. <laughs> and yeah, she's been family ever since. And I've just been... So amazed with the talent she has. Genesis I met through her high school. She did an intern program where she worked in her chosen field which was music and after she helped me for several weeks with iTunes and things like that that old men don't know about, I said hey why don't you sing me something I know you do something and she played me some songs and again I was blown away. And I said, how long have you been doing this? She said, oh, six, seven weeks now. Six, seven weeks, wow. So for a year or so, I was teaching them everything I knew, and now I just try and keep up, and they teach me, and I'm grateful. That's yeah. great. Um, the school program that I met him through was amazing, uh, with Nashville Big Picture High School. And so every Tuesday and Thursday, I would go to his house, and we would make music and cook and just hang out. And it was way better than school, obviously. But um, <laughs> then we started working with Courtney, and... We'd wow. all known each other for a while, and then we were like, why didn't we do this sooner? This is wonderful. <laughs> Cooking. That's good. Yeah. You're on the right show. So what do you <laughs> cook? What do you guys like to cook? Genesis is a great breakfast cook. We all love Asian cuisine. Right now, what I'm in love with is I've been playing around with Alfredo's, and I've got a Turkish variation with uh, with Greek yogurt as, as the component instead of sour cream. Wow. He makes Great. And I do like a, a four cheese Alfredo with turkey sausage meatballs, and that's that's kind of my thing this week. <laughs> really wow, that sounds great. Very interesting. Garlic is doing its thing there. And I'm going to reach over here and get some pepperoncino, which is red crushed pepper. Oh, you yeah. You like a little spice? Oh, yeah. That sounds awesome. Bring the heat. Okay, bring the heat. Bring it in. All right, and what I do is infuse the oil with a little bit of basil. I like to leave it whole. And get that in there. Get it working. They can smell that, right? You don't have yeah. smell vision with that. If I didn't know what was coming, I could just eat that with a fork right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're just gonna infuse those flavors together. And like I said, it's it's a basic marinara sauce, but we're gonna use it for two different dishes today. I'm gonna bring a little tomato paste in there. Okay, and what I do is, because there's some acid in the tomatoes, I put a little sugar right in there and get some caramelization going on, like a hot spot in the pot. And kind of caramelize it, it gives a little color to the sauce, a little depth, actually. Turn all the sugar. <laughs> you are, huh? Yep. I know a lot of people are like, no, know with the sugar these days, but just a little, just a little. Okay, so we're ready to add the tomatoes. salt. Reach over here. Just a little will do it. Being that we're working with some anchovies and some capers, the salt take it down a notch a little bit. One little trick. 
If the sauce tastes good when it's raw, it's going to be great when it's cooked. So I'm going to give you a little taste. I'm not going to feed you, but you can feed yourself. <laughs> Sorry, I've had my eyes I'll, on the I'll, 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 I'll feed the ladies, but I'm not feeding mm. you. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, that's good. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Are those the tomatoes from you guys' garden? No, unfortunately not. You can put that right on there. They're still good. It doesn't matter. But it's nice and fresh, right? <laughs> Delicious. Tastes good. All right, so while this is cooking, I'm going to go over and start working on our eggplant and flying a little bit more about you. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start the eggplant now. These baby eggplants, I love them. Have you ever had these? Mm -hmm. Well, we have a full-grown eggplants. <laughs> ah, full-grown. Okay. All I'm going to do is really easy. It's, I'm just going to score them. Okay, and the reason why I score them is so that all that goodness, all the good stuff can get in there. Helps them bake more evenly and helps the flavor get in there. Okay, so tell me a little bit about, about your name. How you got that name? <laughs> Our name took a lot of late nights and a lot of messages through a group text and yeah. a lot of brainstorming. Um, yeah, what, what happened was we were trying to think, you know, really, really hard about our sound and what, um, what we thought we sounded like and how to best express that. And the thing we kept coming back to is um, the moon and moonlight. Um, and, and we really loved that and wanted something to do with that. But we didn't want to just be... You don't, you don't just call your band the moon. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. So um, we were, you know, going through thesauruses and doing all this research, and um, what we ended up with is Asteria, who is uh, a Greek Titan goddess. She was the goddess of prophecies and the night, um, and then Lux is Latin for light. And so put together, the goddess of the night and light, it's like moonlight. Wow, yeah. cool. That's great. Very original. In the bowl, a little bit of very finely minced garlic. Mm. Some capers. Oh yeah. Okay, I use the oil from the anchovies because we're going to get them in there as well. And I just like to use my hands, guys. It's just the way I am sometimes in the kitchen. I saw you the wash best. them, so I'm not worried. Yeah, good. <laughs> you know, the best tools. So we're going to get that in there, mix it all up. Okay, and basically, I'm going to open it up and just get that garlic in there. And all that goodness. What's happening is I'm just getting it in the crevices, okay? Oh, that looks good. Yeah, you just want a little, just a little in there. And then I'm going to show you what we're going to do with those olives. Get all that flavor in there. So basically, where have you been touring? What's been happening with your music? Well, we just got back from kind of a Rocky Mountain tour. Mm -hmm. uh, we did Montana, Colorado, Wyoming. Got to see some old friends along the way and make some new ones and uh, put in a lot of miles. So yeah. we, we, we showed up hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. You came to the right place. Okay, because yeah. I like to feed people. That's great. And you girls are pretty young, right? Mm -hmm. How old are you? Uh, I'm 17. You're 17. Mm -hmm. And I wow. just turned 18. 18. Wow, no wine for you today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Right. I'm drinking for three. <laughs> drinking for three, go ahead. Get going. But yeah, right now we've just been uh, booking our own tours and we're really independent. We've been doing all of our own promotion, uh, mm -hmm. which is very, very hard. But it's cool to put in the work and the hours and hopefully when we get successful, we can say we, we really paid our dues and, and worked yeah. really hard for it. Yeah. But this is an awesome opportunity. But besides, you know, this show, where can the American public are you guys? How can they find you? Um, all of our music is on our website, asterialux.com, and you can find uh, find us on our YouTube channel, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, yeah. all the... We are all over the internet. Yeah. <laughs> all right, great. That's a good thing. By the way, black olives, big yeah. plus here. Oh, yeah. Okay, just, just putting it on and crushing them up with my hands. Everything, as you can see, with my hands today. The marinara sauce that we prepared just a mm. few minutes ago right on the top. Oh, look at that. Finish that off with a little breadcrumbs and a little cheese and pop them in oh. the oven. <laughs> I'm going to start on our steak today. I don't think we were prepared to eat this good of food. <laughs> really? I have not mentally prepared myself for this. Jen gets a little emotional when really good food is involved. <laughs> I do. It, I do. She'll I really actually tear up a little and... Jen, that's good. Well, and as you can tell, I like to eat, so... <laughs> 
I yeah, do too. But I've already got. I'm ready to. Oh, yeah, so it's good. it's not it's not crying, but I think about good food and my eyes like they just start to swell up a little bit. I swear uh, I'm not I'm not actually crying, but maybe I am. Maybe I it's know. a synesthesia kind of thing. Your eyes are salivating. Mm -hmm. you know? There you go. Oh, just a little a plain breadcrumbs. Yeah. Just a little plain breadcrumbs on top, and a little bit of grated cheese, coarsely grated. Use anything you want, Parmesan, Romano. Well, I was going to say, with the, the sauce and the breadcrumbs, it seems like it's going to have a little bit of like a eggplant Parmigiana kind of. Uh, a little bit, but not quite. Not quite. No, a little, a little more different. Yep. Yeah. What kind of cheese is that? Romano. We're using Romano today. And now a little bit of olive oil on top. Oh. Yeah, well, sorry <laughs> for all you Weight Watchers out there. No, not, I not it's the fine. dish. But it's heart healthy. Yeah, I did. Olive oil is good for you. Okay, my grandma will live to be 99 years old. Wow. And oh yeah, and she ate everything, everything in moderation. So, tell me what's happening next. Where are you guys headed? We're very fortunate. We have a month, kind of just downtime in Nashville. We're playing a few gigs, doing a couple like small Nashville TV shows, um, and then once October hits, we have a really full schedule with. Songwriters festivals on the coast and Great. and a few things around Texas and Texas yeah. good. Are we gonna pop this in the oven, guys? Three fifty oven. Take about a half hour. And then we're gonna eat. All right. So yes. Texas is next. Uh, it's uh, in December. Yeah, we in have December. a few things along Alabama and Florida mm -hmm. in the time being, and working on getting some good video footage to show to you no know, labels, agents, stuff like that. That's perfect. All right, so we're going to start on the steak and pizziol. I'm going to yeah. swing over to the range again, all right? Okay, we're going to prepare our steak and pizziola right oh. now. Yeah. And it is a, uh, used to be a cheap cut of meat, but now it's kind of not cheap cut of meat. A <laughs> little salt, yeah, a little salt here and a little pepper. This season on both sides, obviously, always. Some people forget they only do one side seasoning, but not here. Okay, and this is a chuck roast. Okay, so you want to ask your butcher to, you know, give you a nice thick cut. I like it boneless. You can get it with a bone, it doesn't make a difference. But just my preference. You want to make sure the skillet's really hot with a little olive oil. Some smoke coming off there. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's going to give you a nice sear. Okay, right in. Yeah, you smell that. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, so you have, do you like pot roast? Yeah. Okay, well this is an Italian pot roast. Yeah. That's exactly what this is. And so with our marinara sauce that we made earlier, remember, one sauce, two dishes. Okay, we're going to prepare this, and it's really easy. People that work, and they want to do something early in the morning when they get up, and they want to have it prepared for later on, you can prepare this ahead of time, stick it in the oven, and this way when you get home from work, turn your oven on, and let it cook for an hour and a half, depending on the size of the meat. And you guys, you know, just boil your pasta, and you got done dinner. It's really very, very easy. doesn't need any attention. And it's, you know, so we're going to wait for that to sear up. So, I have a question. How long have you been cooking? Oh God, since a, a long time. Since I'm a little kid, I tried okay. to cook. Actually, when I was eight, got a got a real good beating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tried to cook when I was a little kid. So I always loved it. Always been a passion. And I figured, you know what? I love music. I love food. So why not That's join them good. together? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what happened. That's yeah. how we created the show. So, yeah. All right. So this is getting a sear on it. We're gonna bring this over. Basically, we're going to put this in here once that's got a nice sear on it. Put the marinara sauce on it. We're going to seal it up really nice and tight, get it in the oven, and let it cook. So, that's basically it. I mean, you know. Easy. Easy. Very easy. And you do a little cooking. I do a lot, just not as well as you. Well, I'll say that. And then today you'll leave here learning something new, right? I am. It's all about. And you cook too. I do, yeah. He does a lot of cooking for the whole band now. He'll bring he dishes to rehearsals, snacks. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it's, 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 it's really, really good. good. <laughs> yeah, it's just fantastic. Yeah, Courtney's newly living on her own, so mm -hmm. and I know that if I was, I would not. You're living on your own? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm things. trying to learn how to cook a few things. Um, I'm, You're doing you know, good. I'm, doing, I'm really good at the cereal, really good at like anything <laughs> microwavable, so, you know, I'm, I'm slowly expanding my... <laughs> you know, my <laughs> All right, so you know you can email me anytime. Okay, I'll help you. I get a lot of phone calls. Perfect. Yeah. All the time. I will take you up on that. All right. All right. He's got a great seal on it, so we're ready. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's 
pretty. <laughs> yes, it is. All right, the silver. These are tiny. I would right. just pour it, but I don't want to get sauce on your pretty dresses. <laughs> Thank you for being considerate. <laughs> so, who are your musical influences? Um, I grew up with a little bit of everything. Um, I'm, I listen to a lot of my dad's classic rock records, so I grew up with Boston and Aerosmith and uh, the Eagles and a lot of that. Um, but I was also trained in jazz music, so I studied a lot of um, a lot of the standards and you know the Cats, Miles Davis, and mm -hmm. Charlie Parker, Sonny Rollins, that kind of stuff. So I had a little bit of everything. Yeah. That's great. Strangely enough, I grew up listening to musicals and, and plays and being involved in the choirs, like I said earlier. Um, and then my music interest definitely shifted when I turned about 13 or 14 and I got into the classic rock, you know, Pink Floyd, Beatles, Rolling oh, Stones, I love that stuff too. Janis Joplin, and then I started my getting favorite. into the jazz, Billie Holiday, Elvis Gerald, um, and really I'll listen to anything. I'm less on country, which is weird being from Nashville, um, but I, I like everything. It's a very broad spectrum of interest. You said my favorite, Ella Fitzgerald. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah, feel this up. All right, so I'm going to put this in a 425 oven, and we're going to bake it for about an hour, an hour and a half. Okay. Which should give us just enough time to get through the rest of our influences. <laughs> uh, True. We really do listen to any and everything, and I remember Courtney for a graduation present asked her dad for Eagles tickets, mm -hmm. and Genesis for Christmas um, got the new Black Sabbath album, and... Then we'll listen to jazz, and we listen to a lot of coffee house music. Yeah. Yep. Um, I love Chopin and Frank Zappa, and grew up doing Delta Blues. So we just really love it all. That's great. That's great. All right, so we're going to head inside, and we're going to start to see what you guys have. We're going to sing yes. for our supper. Absolutely. It's going to happen. All right. You said, come on, make a little music with me. Says one jazz, it was hot and sweet. I thought I'd do, I was watch you, man, signs out to you. I'm just an instrument, a little naughty, but you were so nice. Now it's vice versa, have it on the vice. My heart and my mind are two dueling pianos out of key, out of time. Because, man, oh, man, oh, you play me. Like an rose fit slipped into my heart and lit a fire in the middle and played me while I burned like chrome. Then you slid right out like a slide drop and bone and you played me. You played me heaven, the sun, and the moon. Just like an angel till you changed your tune. You played so hard, I should have been warned. Only the devil's that good with horns. Then he was Texas Hold'em, boy, you can bluff. You had me going all in on love. You're such a card, you're so debonair. Now I'm broke, heart broken, plain solitaire. Cause you played me like Nero's fiddle. Slipped, slipped into my heart, heart and lit a fire in the middle. And Played me while I burn like rope And my heart beat my ribs like a xylophone Cause you played me But I'll be laughing as karma runs over your dark my someday When the one that you love walks away And the music fades And it's your turn to say you played me Oh, you played me Oh, you played me. Oh, you played me. Oh, you played me. Oh, yeah. You played me like Nero's fiddle. Slipped into my heart and lit a fire in the middle. I played me while I burned like rum and slid right out like a slide trombone. You played me. Do it, 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 do it,
really impressive guys unbelievable job thanks so man. impressed does that mean we've earned a little treat absolutely <laughs> love the sound man you read that eggplant we're gonna start oh, right yeah fantastic i'll tell you what if yeah if you wait any longer i won't be able to smile because my uh, tongue is about to knock my teeth out to get at that well there you go you know what cj you have to pass me that serving platter there if you don't mind yeah yeah here's here's my plate i don't know what the girls <laughs> are gonna do that's great all right so this is going to be a little bit of a treat here. So you haven't had this dish, correct? No. 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 Okay. Well, I think you're going to really, really like it. Oh, it smells amazing. Yeah, you smell those capers and a little bit yeah. of garlic. Okay. I don't know, CJ. I'm not going to put any more on this platter, but yeah, whatever you want, buddy. <laughs> okay. Why don't we start? Well, you know what? Ladies first. Yeah. Sorry. You're going to just have to wait. <laughs> Tease me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. I love these napkins. Ah, <laughs> oh, sunflowers, right? That's kind of Genesis' personal symbol. My favorite. Really? Yeah. My favorite. How about that? I didn't know. Bon appetit. I got some pasta water boiling, so I'm going to get that pasta in because I think our roast is going to be ready soon. All right, so we'll get that plated up and done. That was impressive. Wow. <laughs> nice. little pasta, Wait, oh, are you kidding me? Oh. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, you know, you don't have to wow. eat the skin if you don't want, but the whole thing is edible. Yeah, we'll eat it all. Perfect. We'll eat it all. Okay, good. Okay, so I'm tasting my son. It is really, really good. Mm -hmm. that. <laughs> mm. Taste that anchovy in there? Yeah. The black olives really add a lot to it. I love it. Mm, yeah, and there's the olives. That's really good. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go grab that roast. I'm going to start on that, all right? Awesome. Great. We'll wait here. Yeah. Got it. We're, just We're occupied. Work on this. Okay. <laughs> hey, this is done, guys. I'm oh. excited. <laughs> ah, wow. Look at that. There it is. CJ, I'm going to bother you again. I need that platter. You got it. I'm going to hand it off to me. Thank you. That eggplant dish was fantastic. It was. Thank oh my, God. God. my whole family is a huge eggplant fan, so I'll we'll have to get okay. the recipe from you for sure. Okay. Oops. Sorry about that. Okay, so basically, sauce on top, and that's hot. Got to be careful there. Actually, you see, it's just like a regular marinara sauce so turned into a meat sauce mm -hmm. because of the uh, steak in there. Hey, yeah. speaking of. Recipes and tips. Do you do like a blog or have a website where we can yeah, find I'm on stuff? Instagram. I do a lot of stuff on Facebook as well. And, Perfect. Yeah, so you can you can reach me. I got yeah. Good. I am ready to learn from the master. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm ready to cut this steak up. Okay. Well, look at how tender that is. Little trick. You gotta be really careful. Okay. 
So, tell me a little bit about your, you know, how you got started. I know you, you told me you started very young, correct? Yeah, um, I started taking piano lessons when I was four and, and moved into um, guitar as well. And, and I've been studying music and music theory um, mm -hmm. pretty much my whole life up to this point. Yeah. Well, that's great. Yeah. What about you, Genesis? Courtney's definitely the brains behind the music when it comes to <laughs> chord, you know, chord structures and mm -hmm. very um, eclectic just chords you don't hear every day. We try to really switch it up. But I am... Um, like I said, my family was in, in bands and in music, and everybody sang, and my sister uh, is still in music to this day. She sang in bands and, and in school plays and, and everything, so I was just, I grew up around it, and my mom was a really big influence. I don't say stage mom, but maybe a little bit. Um, really? And just really pushed me to, to start writing right before I met CJ, and then when I met him, he was a total inspiration, just really kind of pushed me to, to go to further places. That's great. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to start serving you guys. Yeah. Right. A little basil on there. So, where do you guys see yourself in 10 years? That is such a difficult question. <laughs> is it? Yeah, it definitely is. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? I have a lot of ideals in my head, for sure. I mean, our, our dreams are big, um, but really the thing that feeds us, other than rich, <laughs> <laughs> Is, is just touching people's lives with our music. So I think as long as we're doing that, as long as we're making a difference in the world, we'll be happy. Um, we'd love to play big arenas and places like that, but really our favorite gigs are just anywhere where people are listening. Yeah. So anything from, we do a lot of house concerts, living room gigs, but we love oh, that's small cool. theaters. Anything where, if it's enough people to really get you excited, but not so many that you can't, meet them all and shake their hand after the show, that's perfect. And I'm going to shut up and eat. Oh. No, no, we, we want to hear more. <laughs> I'm excited to have the means to be able to travel all over the world, but I'm mostly excited about having the power and the money to be able to make a change with our music as well as just day to day, you know, help with charities and, you know, there are a lot of, there are a lot of things that can be done in the world and I'm excited to go towards doing them. Absolutely, that's great. That's a great outlook. Sounds like a great future. All right, dig in, guys. Oh my gosh, right. thank you, you so much. much. Welcome. I get a little taste. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. You guys, hold on, I'm not there yet. <laughs> Come on, Jen. Mm. Wow. All right, can we get a priest in here? Because I'm going to marry this. <laughs> that's funny. Tender, flavorful. Really tender, it's really good. That sauce is amazing. Great. Thank too. you. I want to thank Asteria Lux for another autograph. I want to thank CJ, Courtney, and Genesis. I hope we fed you well here. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> you what, put a little sauce on that plate, we'll lick the signatures right off. Hey. <laughs> Remember, we're the cooking show that cooks up stars, so be well, be good, and God bless. And we'll see you next time on The Starving Artist.